Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with cream of green garlic and potato soup. I love potato anything. I love soup and I love garlic. So it was no surprise at all that I thought this was just a fantastic, fantastic soup. So here's how I put it together. I had one bunch, which was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stalks. Is that the right term? Stalks? Actually, I guess they're bulbs if you want to get technical. What I did is I cut off the root end right there. I cut off most of the dark green. So you mostly want to use the white parts and the light green parts. I chopped it in like half inch pieces, although that's not a big consideration because this is all going to get simmered down very tender. After I chopped my garlic, I soaked it in water and make sure to rinse off any sand, any dirt. All right, dirt not advisable in soup. So my garlic is prepped. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to start cooking some pork product in a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm using prosciutto scraps chopped up. You may remember these from such videos as roast asparagus with prosciutto and poached egg. All right, so on medium heat, I'm going to cook that prosciutto for about two minutes just until it starts sizzling. Feel free to use pancetta or bacon or ham or shiitake mushrooms if you want to go vegetarian. I'm going to add my green garlic that's been drained, of course. I'm going to sweat that for about two, three minutes. I don't want to brown the green garlic. I want it to keep kind of a, I don't know, a sharper flavor. I don't want it to caramelize and get sweet. I don't want like a roasted garlic flavor. At this point, I seasoned fairly lightly with salt, pepper, and a little cayenne. So just a few minutes sweating in that little bit of olive oil and a little bit of rendered pork fat. At that point, I'm going to dump in one quart of broth. I'm using chicken broth. You could certainly use vegetable broth. I'm going to bring that to a simmer, and when it just starts to simmer, I'm going to turn the heat to low. I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to let that simmer for 30 minutes. I want that garlic to get very, very soft, and some of the darker green sections of the garlic are very tough, all right? So they do need a little bit of time to get tender. So while that's simmering, I have a half hour to prep my potatoes. I'm going to peel four medium russet, cut them in equally sized chunks, and just keep those in water until you need it. Once the half hour has elapsed, drain the potatoes carefully add them to the stock. By the way, aren't you glad I said carefully because, you know, you totally would have splashed yourself with hot stock had I not said that. All right, so once the potatoes are in, I'm going to give those a stir, and we're going to cook this until the potatoes are tender. Now, if you want to cover it, go ahead. I didn't cover mine. I like to kind of watch my soup. Just keep it simmering. If it looks like it's getting too dry and the potatoes are becoming uncovered, add a little more stock or water. All right, so this simmered for another 30 minutes or so until they were tender. And how do I know? I do the old smasha smasha. You take one of the potatoes with a wooden spoon, and if it smashes against the pot easily, you're done. Okay, to finish the soup, very simple. Take a slotted spoon or one of these strainers and take out all the big chunks, transfer that into a bowl. So basically, we just want the big chunks of potato and some other green garlic. I don't like a completely smooth soup. Creamy, smooth, yes, a little bit, but I do want some texture. I'm going to transfer that into a blender and be very careful. When you blend soups like this, you got to add a little bit of hot stock to get it going, but don't fill it all the way to the top. It will fly out the top and burn your face, which is never good. Also, you want to put a towel over the top like that. You're going to pulse that on and off, scrape it down or push it down with a spoon once in a while, so you're pretty much making sure everything purees. All right, so once that's all pureed, Put it back into the pot. We're going to add our heavy cream, all right, because this is a cream of soup. We're going to put that back on medium low heat, not too high. As soon as that cream heats through, your soup is ready to eat. Of course, pop quiz, what do you have to do before you serve it? That's right. Taste and adjust the seasoning. And you can see there, a smooth texture, a luxurious creamy texture, but still has some pieces of the prosciutto, some pieces of the potato, some pieces of the green garlic. And to me, that's just a perfect, perfect texture. All right, and then keeping with the theme, I'm going to sprinkle some fresh chopped chives on the top. Check it out. That's some quality sprinkling. It's not easy to get them spread out like that. By the way, I minored in that in culinary school. Herb distribution. And there you go. Cream of green garlic and potato soup. And the flavor is so unique. It's not exactly like garlic. All right, it's somewhere between like a garlic and a leek and an onion and a green onion and a chive and a shallot. Okay, somewhere in there. You get the idea. Very delicious. All right, you got the potato. Who doesn't love that? Just a great, great bowl of soup. So I hope you give it a try. Go to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts, as usual. 
And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.